We know that moving house is a very busy and stressful time. This video is to help us work together to have this process completed as quickly and as stress-free as possible. The first thing that you will notice now is that a for rent sign may go up outside your property. This is to let prospective tenants know that it will be available for rent. As we want to limit the amount of disruptions you receive during this time, we try to keep inspections to once or twice a week. Saturday is a busy time for tenants looking for new homes, so we do schedule a 15 minute inspection time for each available property. In our experience, this helps us to reduce the time on the market and in turn mean less annoying disruptions for you. The property you rent is about to become a new home for another family and this process is now to prepare the property for its next chapter. The rental bond that was collected at the beginning of the tenancy is a security deposit and is held on your behalf by the RTA. We want to ensure you get a full bond refund and this will mean that both you and the owner have completed your obligations. The condition of the property, as outlined in the legislation, means that a tenant has an obligation to return the property to the condition it was before they moved in, aside from fair wear and tear. You are required to complete an exit condition report to return to us when handing the property back and this form is included with your vacating pack along with this video. The exit report and the entry report that was completed at the beginning of the tenancy is used by the property manager when completing your vacate. This entry condition report is the most accurate record of the condition of the property and is an agreement between you, the tenant and the landlord as to the condition at the start of the tenancy. This document includes extensive property photos and an entry video and this helps with any disputes that may arise. This form once signed and return allows no room to move and must be followed at the vacate. So please don't get offended that we cannot rely on yours or our memory when completing the vacate inspection. This means if an item is marked clean on the entry condition report, then it must be cleaned. And if an item is marked undamaged and there is damage, even if it has occurred by accident, it must be fixed. We want to take some time to explain some important parts of this process because a correct understanding of this allows you as the tenant to complete the handover with minimal fuss and have the bond returned as quickly as possible. Let's talk about fair wear and tear. With the move in and out process, marks and dints do tend to happen. And even though they are accidental, they are not fair wear and tear and they must be repaired. Another example is curtains. If a curtain is sun damaged, then this is fair wear and tear. However, the curtain is dirty and discolored from no regular cleaning and neglect, then this is not fair wear and tear. Some people confuse clean with new. If an item cannot be made cleaner with a cleaning product, it is clean. However, if there is a stain, to say a bench top that was noted on the entry report and cannot be removed, it is clean. If you have wiped over a surface, this does not always mean it is clean enough. The property needs to be handed back in the same state as when you moved into the property. Some tenants think that certain items won't be noticed and leave until the property manager picks them up at the vacate, perhaps in the hope that they will be missed. The PM who performs your vacate inspection is specialised in these types of inspections and with any damage and repairs it's always best to take this into account as early as possible as repairs can cost more if left to the last minute and sometimes there are only a day or two between tenants moving in and out and the luxury of time is no longer available. Additionally the carpets need to be cleaned to a professional standard before handing the keys back and evidence of that cleaning provided that supports the obligation has been met. This receipt must be provided to your property manager. If pets have been kept at the property, an additional receipt is needed, and that's to prove the correct pest control has been done to professional standard. Any funds owed for rental water invoices will need to be settled and cannot be claimed from the bond. If you are ending your lease early, it's important to refer back to the correspondence sent to you by the office, and this outlines your obligations regarding the rent and care of the property. Many tenants assume that once they hand back the keys, that's where the obligation ends. However, this is not the case, and compensation for rent is payable until the day before a new tenant has moved in or the lease end date, whichever comes first. The property also needs to be cared for during this time, so cleaning and garden works must continue. Further independent information is always available, and we can tell you who to contact should you wish to gain further advice. If you feel you won't be able to meet these obligations, then please get in contact with us as soon as possible so we can assist you. From all the staff here at Denovans, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for your tenancy and wish you all the very best for your future.